Hello, good morning. It's a girl, Susie Jenny, your aka Legit Queen, like my fans call me. If this is the first time of joining me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do me a favor to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on my Facebook handle, and watch more of my videos for things like this that can actually promote your health or prevent diseases. Today, we are going to talk about halitosis. Halitosis is a health problem, which the symptom is oral bad breath bad breath yeah so if you have had bad breath this video is for you if you don't have bad breath this video is still for everyone including myself so today i'm going to talk about halitosis and food you can use to prevent halitosis halitosis firstly before you talk about halitosis if you have a mouth problem or a breath problem Finding the cause of this breath problem is the first step to take towards halitosis, towards bad breath. Yes. What is the cause of your bad breath? Can you find out what actually have you tried everything and you don't know the cause? You don't or you don't know the cause, but you've not tried anything yet. This video is for you. Watch me and as I talk about this. So the first step to take is firstly, you know whether you have a poor oral hygiene do i have a poor oral hygiene how is my hygiene health my oral health how do i how do i treat my oral health how do i behave towards my oral health do i just go to the bathroom and brush and come out and the rest of it is history no you don't just go to the bathroom you don't just go out there to take a brush and brush your teeth or brush your tooth any direction you want some people brush it this way brush it this way you know it's very wrong sometimes this is how to brush you brush it towards this way towards this way towards this way then under your teeth you brush this way you brush this way and you are done after doing that sometimes you do your oral trush or sometimes you use this and um, there's this toothpick they use to pick dirt from your teeth those ones that look like question mark that has rope in it you can take it sometimes before or after brushing or when you are brushing to take away take away um food from your um teeth that are leftover food in your teeth that could be giving ground for bacteria and those things can lead to halitosis so you see there's so many things that can actually lead to halitosis you can actually uh, it could be poor hygiene yes it could be tobacco for those of you that take tobacco or chew tobacco it is very very wrong because or uh, you know it, tobacco could be actually so bad, so long as it is tobacco products so long as it is tobacco products you are chewing it whether it is cigar whether it is cigarette whether it is smokeless tobacco whatever kind of tobacco products you are taking it does not only affect your gum or affect your the color of your teeth or affect the way your breath your breath actually change of course it does not only affect that but it also affects your lungs so it is not healthy for you like you heard the word that they said um smokers are liable to die young yes of course it's true because it takes a long time for the lungs to be totally damaged and before you know it, you begin to have a um, kidney problem liver problem or even lungs infection so tobacco is a no 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 for you and if you are taking any of this you get a good toothbrush a hard toothbrush to brush brush very well brush orally very well from and the right direction to but if you don't have this and you're having a mouth breath problem sometimes you can get a a, you could actually get a soft brush yes a soft brush could go a long way for you you could actually use it to wipe under your gum you don't brush it you wipe it or you sweep your gum with it like like the brush is actually slipping on your gum you brush that way and brush towards this way and then sometimes you get a tongue scraper Tongue scraper are very, very healthy. You take a tongue scraper, so that is the way to behave towards the oral hygiene. So those things are what can cause your oral hygiene. Keeping your mouth dehydrated is another one. Yes, if your mouth is always dehydrated, like always dry, sometimes you brush in the morning, you won't take breakfast, you won't. Food actually helps the mouth to reduce odor. If it, 
if you are working or you are in the public service department and you have this problem please try very much to keep water around you because it is actually very embarrassing that you want to come close to someone and say hello hello can i say something to you and you are oozing from the mouth like it's smelling like a pool it's very very wrong and it's very unhealthy it's unpleasant and it's very embarrassing to you that you will feel you will feel so bad and um, you can lose your confidence in that i'm sorry if i'm saying this but that is what it is okay another one again is your drugs sometimes drugs or medication can reduce the saliva that that uh, could increase your mouth odor yes it could reduce the saliva and once your saliva reduces in the mouth it can cause you oral health it can cause your oral health it can cause you bad breath so those things are what can cause another one is the nose mask the nose mouth and the throat condition if you are this person that have an organ condition or your nose or your mouth condition sometimes bacteria can form a torsero at this back of your throat and produce odor yes that's one i know because sometimes an infection and inflammation in the nose or throat on the sinus can cause halitosis yes so please if you have this this best thing for you to do if you are on this category you go see your dentist or you see your doctor okay so diseases like cancer like liver or um can actually cause bad breaks yes cancer can cause bad breaks cancer of the lungs liver it can cause bad breaks some organs can even in the brain can cause bad breaks so if you're one of these things people or one of these people in this category please you can see your doctor or your dentist for for what for a medication or to diagnose you what the, to know the cause of your bad breath okay so if you've tried all this and you checked all this and um you don't know the actual this thing but you can you want to try something at home you want to check something at home and you want to check okay can i try this first of all use a fluoridated toothpaste fluoride toothpaste fluoride toothpaste are very very good twice a day it's very okay you don't need to brush three times a day you can brush two times the one in the morning before you go out or before breakfast then after dinner you can brush again in order for you to have a pleasant odor in your mouth okay then another one again is regularly change your tooth some people regularly change your toothbrush some people do not know how to change their toothbrush they can use a whole toothbrush for like a year which is very very wrong your toothbrush you can change it for like two months to three months the highest is three months change your toothbrush it's very very hygienic that you change your toothbrush often as often as possible and do not use too much hard brush on your teeth to avoid injury to avoid damaging your tongue or your gum okay except you are a smoker okay so another one again is use a tongue scraper i've actually talked about a tongue scraper i think i have what a tongue scraper is here okay let me get it from my table okay this is what a tongue scraper is but people do not know what a tongue scraper is i have a tongue scraper i use it regularly not like regularly because it could um it could actually affect or make your um, tongue have this kind of um, sensation so or uh, this tender sensation in your tongue so but you can use it like twice or try three times a week okay and scrape softly scrape your tongue and you see those deaths from it and you see you see what kind of things you're scraping out from your tongue so use a tongue scraper very 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 important that you get a tongue scraper another one again is use an antiseptic mouthwash it can help to reduce bad breath antiseptic mouthwash is very very important like me i use lecithin so you can actually look for a one ones that you the ones that are not containing only sugar the ones that are antiseptic and use it is very very nice and it can reduce a bad breath there are some toothpaste that you can actually use yes let me go back to that fluoridated toothpaste there are some toothpaste that you can actually use and you find out that you find out that those toothpaste once you use it in the morning before half 
a day even if you've eaten your mouth will still smell so look for a toothpaste that is fluoridated not just fluoridated that is very very nice for your kind of breath if you are already having a bad breath look for a good and a better toothpaste or you go to your dentist to prescribe a better toothpaste because i cannot um, start talking about toothpaste here i cannot start telling you the ones that are good and the ones that are not good to avoid um destroying some market um products okay so another one again is you keep your dental products clean this is your dental product your brush is your dental product do not keep your brush just for keeping sake after brush you just keep it no after brush you have a brush container put it in your brush container get a brush container put it in your brush container and close it to avoid contamination to avoid incense crawling on it sometimes war gecko can even crawl or use is not good and it could be detrimental to your health so apart from that stop smoking or eating anything that can cause you bad breaths yes if you are a smoker please stop stop it because i'm not going to advise you to continue okay so if you are um if you have a brush in your house and if it is um if it is less if it is more than three months yes this is the time for you to stop this is the time for you to change that brush i'm actually doing this video but apart from that there are food you can actually take to prevent this bad breath yes the food you can actually take to prevent this bad breath are apple carrot celery fruits and vegetable that has that is stronger that has that is hard it can actually serve as toothbrush okay and reduces bad breath you know cherry is also good green tea is also good ginger is also good regular water is also good mint food mint is also good there's a leaf that they call mint even scent leaf is good so you can actually engage yourself in those things and you find out that you wake up in the morning your your breath will be you will be it will be refreshing you will not affect anybody with your breath people will not even notice something it's you actually reduce it first before you go to your dentist then your dentist will not take some kind of um uh, apparatus or instrument to check the level of your breath your bad breath to check it and know what is the cause and then after diagnosis they can now tell you give you a prescription of how to you can actually cure it it can be cured permanently or even reduced to an extent to a very good extent so thank you very much for watching me bye bye i love you all keep on watching my channels i'll see your handwork i love you bye